Well, uh, my wife's friend learned a valuable lesson about what not to do on the Brightline. Uh-oh, what happened? Tell me everything. <laughs> well, we uh, started out, it was uh, Saturday afternoon, and I told you, you know, Matthews Brewing, they were having their sixth anniversary. Yes, I saw you posting pictures from there. Yeah. It looked so fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They had uh, bands that were playing all day long, and so we went out there. I was with uh, my wife and my daughter. And, nice. Uh, one of my wife's friends showed up, and she uh, joined us there, so we had had a couple beers there, and then uh, we had to go do uh, an errand in Boca. So we went and were watching a little bit of the uh, football games, the Georgia Alabama game that was going on. Had and the a girlfriend of, came with you. Yeah, yeah, came with us, and uh, so that was it. You know, for my wife and I, that's it. That was a three thirty football game, so six seven o'clock. We're heading home. You know, it's it's time to go home. And my wife wanted to watch the Michigan games. That's where my oldest son went. And so we were going to go home, and she's like, I want to go out. And we're like, all right, well, good luck. And Caitlin's like, well, I'm going out. She's like, well, I'm going to go with you. I'm like, good luck, because Caitlin and her friends, I mean, they they go out a lot. Like, they're they're seasoned. And they're young. Girls, yes. They're in their early to mid-20s, and they party hard. Right. And, and look, I had just, by Saturday, I, I had had enough. Like, I, there was no more booze I needed. I was fine. Daddy's done. Yeah, I'm done. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I just know better because nothing good's going to happen. It's time to retreat home, just relax, watch a little TV. And, You're a party uh, veteran. You, you've you been in this game for a minute. Yeah. So <laughs> this girl, apparently, she needed herself a night out. So she winds up with my daughter now my daughter's in fort lauderdale which is a good bit away from where this girl even lives so she apparently goes to fort lauderdale with my daughter and and her friend and i guess she they she thought they were going to go right out continue drinking well no my daughter's like no no we're not it's fort lauderdale we're not going to go out this early she said you don't go out till at least 10 o'clock so they were going to get ready take a little nap and that's usually what my daughter and her friends do well, this friend passed out and I guess didn't really wake up until my daughter and her friend that got back from the bar. So she missed all the going out. Oh, my. <laughs> Where did she sleep? At Caitlin's house? Yeah, I guess so. I guess she just fell asleep on the couch. And did she just wake up? Like, where am I? Uh, maybe. <laughs> So here she is. She's in Fort Lauderdale. She's already kind of missed her chance to go out. And luckily, the Brightline station is just right down the street from where my daughter's apartment is. Okay. In downtown Lauderdale. Okay. And so she's going to take the train back to a West Palm and, you know, just get an Uber home. And that's all going to be good. Well, she wakes up and she's very well rested. And she's looking around and she doesn't really recognize anything. And then she gets out of the bright line, and she's like, this doesn't look like the West Palm Station. She took it all the way to Orlando. She fell asleep on the train and didn't wake up till Orlando. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> But apparently they didn't wake her up at the West Palm Station. <laughs> so here she is in Central Florida. <laughs> A little farther away from where she wanted to go. (laughs) But Disney is beautiful this time of year. I guess. So my (laughs) wife, she she woke me up in the morning about 6. She's like, oh, my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Guess who was on the train trying to get back? (laughs) I'm like, oh, my gosh. No, she did not. They just let her sleep. They just let her sleep (laughs) in her room. Two and a half hours. She stayed on that bright line all the way. She didn't wake up when people were disembarking in West Palm? No, and I don't think they have a train that comes right back. So I think she had to go out, had to get somebody there to come pick her. I mean, it was a to-do. Oh, my. It was a to-do. All because she couldn't shut the party down and had to keep going. Sloppy performance. (laughs) (laughs) This sounds like something I could do. Right. Like, I I could totally do this. Panda would be so pissed if he had to come get me from Orlando. But it is, I guess, a note that it could happen. This could happen, so be careful. Yeah, so if you <laughs> are, you know, south of West Palm Beach and you were taking a night train home on the weekend after drinking, <laughs> if you fall asleep, you might want to set an alarm or do something or have a buddy system because you might wake up in Orlando. Oh, poor old girl. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was rough. A lot of fun, though.